Hi, my name is Paul Blitterman and the Group Managing Director of Kenfreight East Africa Limited. Come and join me to see Kenfreight handling one of the biggest energy projects in East Africa. Um, the project we are working in, especially on the renewable energy like windmill, um, is part of the President Obama um, energy and power uh, project for which he has put seven billion dollars and this is part of, uh, of, of one of the projects that we are handling at the moment. So in general it's, it's all energy, energy driven. This project will be 38 complete windmills parted over four different vessels. We are discharging a complete vessel with 10 wind turbine generators for a power project in Kinangop, north of Nairobi. Kenya is a very important country for Kenfreight, as I think it is for East Africa. It's still the economic powerhouse of the region. Other countries are developing, but I think Kenya is still the leader, especially in the field of uh, power generation, which is what's bringing us here at uh, 10.30 on a warm Saturday night in the port of Mombasa. These are in fact the biggest uh, wind towers that have ever come into East Africa. The biggest power generating project at the moment. Kinangop is very special in the sense that, first of all, the massive amount of, of out-of-gauge cargo. In total we have close to 270 pieces which are either like 60 tons, 40 meters long, 30 meters long, 25 meters long and 50 tons, etc. Et and the, tr the trucks and equipment needed are quite specialized. What is important is to basically invest in, in high-tech uh, machinery and, and trailers and, and, and tractors in order to be able to, to manage the road infrastructure and to have uh, efficient uh, transport uh, available. Challenges are big here. First of all, the size of the equipment that we need, the size of the units that we have to transport. Uh, several special equipments we are needed, you will see. Uh, we have blade trailers, which are triple extendable trailers that go up to 45 meters long for the 40 meter long blades, which is quite unique equipment. Behind us we have our first vessel of two transformers of 160 tons, which is for a power generation project around the capital city of uh, Nairobi, which Kenfit is going to handle uh, at the same time. So when the client came to us several years ago, the first question was actually, is this even possible? We went and surveyed the route, the whole 700 kilometers from Mombasa port up to the site. We surveyed alternative routes. We merged it all together in one document and we told the client, yes, it's possible, but we have to get the right equipment for it. It's really a project that we've been waiting all of the team like for three years, like how to, to build our quotation, our project and the road survey and like what we can offer better than the competition. The, big, the biggest challenges we are facing at the moment, and especially in, in East Africa, is, is the road infrastructure. In Europe you operate in, in, in highways which have three lanes, four lanes. In East Africa here at the moment we are, we are operating on, on highways which only have one single lane going and one single lane coming back, which for instance is the, the Mombasa-Nairobi highway, is, is that sort of, of, of highway and it's basically the, the most important highway who connects basically all the inland destinations in East Africa with the port of Mombasa. My name is Philip Mattia. I work for Kenfred East Africa. I'm in charge of all the heavy lift operations and to coordinate everything quite well so the ship can also still continue doing what it's supposed to be doing. If something goes wrong, to assist each other as fast as possible so that the operation can keep on rolling. Yeah, I am working as a captain. We have come from China. It takes about uh, 28 days. We are discharging the cargo and they are receiving from the shore. This is heavy cargo as well as special cargo, you know, so it has to be uh, handled with very care. My name is Audrey D'Souza. Um, my role is the commercial executive. What I do is bring in the clientele as a marketing manager, um, ensure that our clients are basically served from A to Z with whatever they require, um, whatever they need and we also give them the information and help 
which they need in order to take their cargo from point A to point B. All our heads of department, they're all local Kenyans. They have been trained by us. They come from other companies. They want to work with us. We have an extremely low uh, percentage of people that leave Kentfrey. I'm uh, Mr. Salim, working with uh, Spark Inspection. I'm a layer inspector. As you can find in Mzuri Sala, na pendele ile services zao vile wanavyofanya. Nimeipenda sana hii project kwa sababu kila kijiji kitakuwa kinapata moto. I would say it's an awesome experience being able to go and see the turbines and the blades on the roads um, is amazing. Well, first of all, handling one of the biggest projects in, in East Africa uh, with success, my team is, is very eager to, to even uh, challenge uh, or having more challenges and bigger projects while there is plenty of other projects coming. That all makes it very exciting. We feel a bit giddy about it, which is good. making me very proud that I'm a Kenyan and this is what I can do for my country. Thanks, Ken Freight. It's a lot of fun working here. I think it's amazing. And we are feeling very confident uh, with the team that we are uh, going to grow in not even in Kenya but also in, in, in Uganda, in, in Tanzania and basically conquer the whole of East Africa from north to south.